Okay, what's going on boys? No Guides here, welcome back to oh, No Guides 2, No Guides Raw. Um, I got some questions that you guys asked on Instagram actually, a lot of them, a lot of them. I try to answer most of them, all of that, that I, all of them I can. Um, there is quite a few of them, and I'll just go through them and I'll kind of talk through it. Maybe some of them require gameplay stuff, so I've got you know, a gameplay in the background you can look at, so you're not looking at anything. Um, and we'll start from really the, really the beginning. Yeah, it's not even in order, is it? Okay, it's not an order. So we're gonna start with um, the first one. Um, Harry, oh, I think it's, it's it's Harry the Rand Bobo. I think it is. Apologies if it's not. Um, when have you when you have bad gameplay responsiveness? What do you do in the middle of the match? Now, it's a debatable one. You can you could always um, you know, it's kind of a situation where like you can look, for example, at what the gameplay is doing. You can maybe try pause in the game, and but there's not that much you can do. Um, what I like to do is I like to shield the ball, so if there is bad gameplay, um, I'll typically go just towards shielding the ball a bit more, and I'll focus on going down the wings, because going down the wings is very, very easy, you know, you just do a, an L1 trigger, and just do a through ball like that, so I'll keep trying to go down the wings and get the ball back into the ball, that's what I do when it's a bad connection, um, but obviously, it depends as well from person to person, um, I don't really change that much, I mean, maybe I might be a bit more precise, I might look at a play and then make a pass, um, but otherwise, it's not that much that I change. Um, who's the best goal card in the game? Um, I think uh, Charbing Hamas. I don't think that's. I think um, that's definitely Neymar. Best pro clubs winger. Mm, pro build? Um, I'll be honest. I don't really play pro clubs. I think someone 5'8, someone who's pretty fast. I mean, I wouldn't really know about that too much. Would you get 87 Kante or Team of the Week or 9 Golan? Oh, hang on. Which in 87, sorry, Team of the Week moments, nine going or Kante. Um, Abdurrahman asked that. This is a difficult one because it depends on the team as well. You know, some people, um, they prefer a defensive player. If you have, if you're playing in a 4-2-3-1 and you kind of got two players and you got two slots, you can do either. It depends. But I would say the most important thing being whatever you do use, um, I would say if you need a defensive player, get Kante. If you're playing him in a two and you got someone like, I don't know, Hullet, you might need a Kante, but if you're playing like um, nine go, if you got like a center mid space and you're playing like I don't know, um, a, I don't know, a system like Allen, and you need one more person, then get Kante. The key thing is someone like nine go and Kante will work together, but between them, I would say the more defense option of Kante will be better defensively anyway. Um, would you recommend a four one three two? Um, ask Honest Vendetta. Um, I prefer a four one two on two over it. I don't really use it that much. I really don't. Um, I use it a bit. Um, I don't really see a point for you know you got like three centimeters. Can I, why? Where is this formation actually? I don't really. I'll be honest, I don't really use it. Um, it's basically they removed it from the game. Surely not. Four three three four one. Let's have a look. Actually, four one three two. I mean, unless I'm blind, I know it's like um. I oh, hear it is. Yeah. You got the three, it's like, you know, you might just get the cam there. I mean, I don't think there's a point of using a center mid. You might just use the 4 one 2 one 2 in my opinion. Um, but you could use either. I mean, you know, it wouldn't make too much of a difference. But I prefer the cam instead. Um, that's what I would say. Um, so would I recommend it? Uh, if you're good at defending, I would say use a 4 one 3 2 uh, 4 one 2 on the second variation um, is what I would say. Um, anyway, uh, Nathaniel, oh, no, sorry, no. I can't answer that question. Um, Liverpool goes blitz formation. That will be coming soon. Um, Ido goes, who's your favourite player in this FIFA? I think Neymar is probably the best player. I think this FIFA is an exceptionally good. Um, also, I got Team of the Year Kante that I pulled um, as well. Untradeable. He's actually really, really good as well. Um, Nathan asks, uh, do you think SPC and SPN is worth it? I would say no. You can get someone like Bellarabi as well like for free. Um, so I wouldn't, wouldn't really do the SPN. SBC, um, D D D -M DVMing, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't even know, what this <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying this right, would you rather play with players like you like in real life, or just players because they're better foot cards, um, a bit of both, I'm a fan of Darabia, um, and players like Neymar in real life, so I'd use them on the bench, um, but, it's a kind of a bit of a both, I mean, I wouldn't, Okay, let's say, I'll give you an example, right? Let's say Mustafi was my favorite player. I wouldn't use Mustafi in FIFA. So if they're viable, I would use them, put it that way. Um, James, there's like 850k, a team that'd be good SPC coming. I don't know about SPCs, 850k though. 
I'll build around um, a French team, maybe someone like Neymar, someone like Ben Yedda. And I'll just go around with like Suzuko, Kante, see what you can fit in for that much. I don't know if you're on Xbox or whatever. Um, see what you can fit in on that. Um, if not, just make a French squad. That's what I'll kind of go with. Um, with Ben Yedda, um, Neymar, if you can build around Neymar and Ben Yedda up front. Um, Samuel goes, um, do you prefer people before or after tactics? Now, I'm pre presuming you mean before and after tactics, as in these tactics. Now, back in the day, they used to be other advanced tactics. They were much better than this one. These are kind of restricted. I mean, you can still do stuff with them, but then they're, they're very restricted. So I really wouldn't. I would say before, when the original FIFA is, the cut tactics, they were out where you could choose organization in the final third. You can choose covering line, offside trap. You can choose, you know, your width, your passing is a short it gives you more control and i miss that really dearly um but this this is the more simplistic version um i prefer the old one basically owen says um how do you get the lamina ram to get more involved in a box um doing runs in a box um i'm presuming he's talking about a 4 2 3 one here because he's preferring to the lamina ram so um, you can use this and put in getting behind in the left mid and right mid um but i would recommend i'll be honest just get the regular 4 2 3 one all you gotta do is just get the regular 4 2 3 1. Because there's no getting behind option, what you can do is you can just apply a long ball. And long ball is not like what you think, it's not hoof the ball up forward and cross the ball in. Long ball basically just means that these players will make runs in behind, especially those three camps. Because, in case you guys don't know, um, because you can't assign ca these camps to get in behind, so but long ball is just gonna let them go forward. That kind of like LB triggers, L1 triggers. Oh, that's what L1 does. My man goes, how do you dribble when you're... How to dribble and when to do it and when not to? Um, for those of you that are on my Patreon, um, you'll have a video on that coming very soon. In terms of dribbling, um, someone like Socrates hasn't got the best agility and balance, so he's going to turn like a truck. The most important thing is agility and balance, so that's why someone like, you know, Pepe, for example, who's got better dribbling, as you can see, look, he turns a lot. The most important thing is focusing what your opponent's... Like, I'm looking at my opponent's feet. And I see where he is, and I dribble into the space of where he's not going to be. Is kind of what I do it. Um, it's kind of a difficult one in terms of L1 um, dribbling. If you struggle with dribbling, just use strafe dribbling. Strafe dribbling might be an easier alternative. Um, ball back here, um, half heartedly at the screen. So L1 dribbling like this. Um, if you struggle with dribbling, it might be just a bit more easier. The strafe dribbling. Um, it just gives you a bit more um, control, should I say, and it's a bit easier to do as opposed to L1 dribbling. I mean normal elastic dribbling um, maybe you can try that um but i'll be honest dribbling is something that will take time and it, you know you won't just get it you won't slowly just get dribbling in the bag it'll take you some time so do bear that in mind um next question um best strikers in a game after ben Yedda? i would say neymar if you're not going to use if you want traditional strikers someone like you know greenwood will be good um who else would be th the new sun team is, uh group moments would be good um who else M I think, yeah, Ben is probably one of the best, I would say. And you have R9 and you have the usual, etc., etc., as well. Um, how do I count out players as fullbacks on st stay back? If you have, if your opponent has fullbacks on the stay back, um, you can't really counter attack that. What you can do is you can go with like a 4 3 3, uh, kind of go something like this, and you can put like these guys on stay forward and get it behind. I mean, you could do something like this stay forward, stay wide, and then you can play the driven pass down the wing when you get the ball back. But I don't think it will help that much in all honesty. So you can't really this there's no exact way of counterattacking these guys, if that makes sense. You know, you can try getting behind, but it won't make that much of a difference. Um counterattacking is quite hard to do. Um I'll say go down the middle. Javino or SVN? Um probably SVN, maybe. Uh, this is a difficult one as well. Personal preference, I would I think the players got better agility balance. I can't see right now who which one, but when do you start reviewing cards? Um, Cantona asks, um, I'll be honest, I don't know if it's worth doing reviews because if I do reviews, I'll have to do it properly and then by the time I edit a video and everything, if I'm only, I know this is going to sound stupid, but you guys need to remember, um, I don't get, editing takes up, you know, 12 hours of my average day, you know, every day I think 12 hours I'm spending editing. So to make a video on player review, I would like to do it, but if you know, if I'm only getting like a thousand views, honestly, because I would do editing properly, I wouldn't do it like half-heartedly. And if I spend like four hours uh, to six hours on a video to only get like 1,000 views, I wouldn't be happy. So, um, not that I won't be happy, it wouldn't be worth making a video if that makes sense. And plus also the finances. Um, a lot of people who do, who do like these play reviews, they're known for play reviews. You know, players like Marshall, you know, 
obviously you're very known, you know, been in, done that, been there, you know, then expertise in that area. Whereas other people, for example, they have the finances. Um, so I like to, you know, to buy the players. I don't have the finances yet, so it'll be a bit difficult, for example, to do an untradable SBC, if that makes sense. But maybe we'll look into that. And maybe it's something that I want to start doing. Maybe if I, um, I'll start looking for an editor, hopefully, um, soon, you know. When I get to, like, a feasible stage where I can get, like, a, get an editor, I might do something like that. That might be a good option. Um, but, yeah, like, an L1 trigger like that might be useful. By the way, I never do an L1 triangle pass. I never do that. Um, Alex goes, Haji, Baggio, Cliver, who you think's better? Um, I would say Haji because he's got well, Haji or Baggio. I think um, I think you know the dual team balance is kind of important as well. I think Baggio might have just a bit better. I don't know, but they're all four star weak for anyway. So either one of them is completely fine. I mean, wouldn't go with Cliver too much. Not the biggest of fans in all honesty, but anyway. Um, Yeboa goes pressure on heavy touch. Um, doesn't work for me after the patch. Any comments? Uh, Um, it still works. Oh, I did some minor testing. It still does work. Um, well, I would say I'm, I'm not seeing anything where it would change. Uh, maybe you probably just see it differently. Um, but no, it still works. It does. It, it should still work. I can't see why it would change. Um, should I get Lautina Martinez or say it for team of the season? Future stars. Um, team of the season is quite far away. Two months, maybe. Um, see what you can get for now. I would say, um, Leo Marino, I think that's how you say your name. L sorry, L Lorea, I think it is. Um, apologies, sorry, apologies if I get your name wrong. I mean, I'm looking at the numbers and I'm presuming that, like, for example, a three is an E. So just do bear with me for that. Um, Alvertib says, um, could you suggest me make a defenders for League One? League One defenders? I mean, that is a difficult one. That is honestly a difficult one. I mean, I don't even know any League One. I mean, anyone that's visibly worth. One second. Let's let's have a quick look on Footbin. We can quickly have a look. Um, how can I actually go this? I'll have to do, for example, like something like this. All right. Best thing to do, but oh well. Um, let's have a quick look on Footbin. I mean, there isn't any good League One defenders. Not that I know of. Anyway, we can just double check. Anyway. Um, I would. I'll just. At that stage, I'll just rather just use four backs and center back. I'll be honest. Let's go defenders. I said I've, I League One. I mean, apart from like the the ones that are not end game. I mean, Sar's not that bad. You could use him. Um, I wouldn't use Tiago. Kamara would be a good option. Yeah, Kamara would be a good option. Just a Garner Gay would also be a good. So maybe just a Garner Gay and Kamara might be a good option. Um. Joji as well, if you can do it, if you well, if it's not gone yet. Yeah, Renato Sanchez is very good. I use that. I use my main team. And Mabi is also good. And Carrera. Yeah, there's, there's actually a lot of players. Carrera, you know, Kamara, Idris Agana, Gay. Um, a very cheap tradable options is what I would say. To stay against the OP, yes, he is. Sheng is the best goalkeeper in the game. Every time I do the ball roll, my players are doing body feint something. Um, you're doing a ball roll incorrectly. What you're probably doing is you're probably running and then doing the ball roll or something like that. What you want to do is basically to do a ball, I'm just going to restart the game so I can get the ball on my feet so I have to waste my time chasing my opponent. When you're doing a ball roll, your key is you can't run and then do a ball roll. You have to let go of everything and not. you can move the left hand long stick, but you got to move like that, like that. You move it 90 degrees. You see that? Very simple. Relative. So if I want to go to the left hand side, I move it to the left hand side. Easy. You know, nothing too extravagant, nothing too crazy. You know, don't do like a, you know, like that, like, um, Hold it like that, because then you're going to get this kind of stuff. So just simple. Just simple like that away. Like that. Very, very simple. It'll it'll, it'll, you just, just let go of the run. I think the issue is you're using the run button. Oh, you can't even see it. Grip. What am I doing? Hey, this is honestly some terrible production here. Sorry, yeah. So I'm saying don't run with the ball. And flick it, because then you get this kind, this kind of thing. Just go. Use the right analog stick. You can use the left analog stick, but just use the right analog stick. You know, 90 degrees. You know, that's the way I would say do it. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. It'll always work. Um, don't hold it is what I was saying because you might get this faint thing which maybe you're doing. Um, but do it once, just once. Once, 40, like, you know, once 90 degrees left or right. Play relative as well. So that's what you can do. As you can see, I'm doing this quite raw. So um, apologies if I make any mistakes. No editing, no cuts. It will all be in one take. Um, is the Carnivore SPC still worth it? 
Are they even available? I didn't even know that. Um, I could have bought these ones. Simple, just simple like that. Very simple, you know. You'll just get you just let go of the run button. I think the run button is what's letting you down, I think. Your simple um left analog stick. You see these on my second account anyway, I don't got a tool on that. Um I would say in terms of colourable, I didn't even know the SPCs were available. I don't think they are. And you th I think you mean the players like Neymar? I mean Will they get upgraded? Uh, and that's the headline I want. Actually, I don't even know. I'll be honest, I, c I can't even answer that question. I honestly generally don't even know. I didn't even know the SPCs were available, to be honest. Um, best strike in the Prem, best 500k? Son, um, Tele asked that. Talia, sorry. Jesus. That's a terrible pronunciation. Um, baby asked, how can I get better at division rivals? I got a video, I will have a video on this coming soon. Um, don't worry about that. Um, the main thing is the same as foot champs, take one game at a time. Um, apply fitness and um, have a separate formations, you know, a backup one is what I would say. Will you have son of an inform today? Well, you think you did, got moments today. How's 4 triple 2 formation? I prefer 4 4 2. 4 triple 2, I just think I'm just not really a big fan of it. Um, I prefer, like, you know, with the 4 4 2, you control um, the, the wide players because a 4 triple 2 is basically a 4 4 2. I don't care what anyone else says, it's basically the same formation. Um, but obviously, with the 4 4 Two sec well the four triple two you can't have um what the hell was it? You can't put these guys on stay wide, you only put them on combat. That is ba they're basically cam, so I prefer the left middle right mid. More control. Favorite skill on FIFA, uh fake shot. Um KZ Asta. Um Man say Man Gem says Man Gem Man. I think that's how you say your name. Apologies again. If you're fed up with the gameplay, what are the games do you recommend? Warzone. Warzone is class. It's free game as well. Call of Duty free. Um, it's basically a battle royale game. I'm pretty sure you know it. A couple of questions left. How do you feel about Coman? Mid Coman as a CDM. Mid Coman as a CDM. Um, I think you can get the job done. Mid Coman. Yep, you play him in centre back. I mean, whether, whether you play him off chemistry or whatever, you play him off on seven chemistry. Let's just assume you're going to use him on seven chem. A CDM, yeah, you'll, you'll be good with the shadow. I mean, if you can start him in centre back, move him to CDM after, it'll be beneficial. If not, seven chem, you'll get the job done. I think you'll do a good job. Finally, Daniel um, asks, if I subscribe to your Patreon, how can I? How can you help me? I'm playing on PC. So all you got to do, patreon.com forward slash no guys. Link will be in the description. All the videos are here, and these are not just normal. These are basically like you know long videos explaining. You know they're, they're not short videos. Sign up for this. You don't improve. I'll give you your money back because that's how the videos are made. They're made very systematically. There's loads of videos here um, covering everything, uh, from finishing to defending and everything getting uploaded constantly. So yeah, patreon.com for slash your guides. I think that is pretty much it. No other real questions. I think I answered everything actually. Well, well most of them anyway. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, this will be uploaded soon. But thank you very much on Instagram for all the questions. Um, I might do this again soon, it was pretty fun. Um, but anyway guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.